All right, so you've finished your self-portrait and you're ready to go ahead and start tracing it with black glue. The first thing that you need to know is how to open it. So you twist the small cap first and a lot of the times you're going to have this black glue on here that you're going to that has dried and you have to pick off with your finger. And you'll know that it's ready if you can hear the the air coming out when you squeeze it. So you just give it a little squeeze. If you can hear the air like that, then it's open and it's ready to go. Um, when you trace, the idea is that you get a thin line of glue. Um, you want to actually be able to touch the paper, not hold it up in the air. So I'm touching the paper and I drag it. I don't push through. I'll show you what the difference is. But when you drag it, you should be able to get a pretty nice thin line. We definitely do not want to see big puddles or like push and then let go and push and let up. You want to keep nice even pressure and just drag it. If you push it through, usually this is what it ends up looking like. And you can see it kind of scrapes some of the glue away and makes it look like two lines instead of one. So just remember to pull it through like this. One last thing before you start is you should check the size of your eyes. There's nothing different between these eyes except for the, sh the size. But if you have ones that are too small, even if you do your most careful job of tracing, I'm trying to do a really careful job, it's so tiny that it ends up, that glue just ends up kind of running together and it ends up looking like a blob. It's not very good. If you have a larger eye, you should be able to trace and not have that problem. So this is your last chance. If you have a small eye, go ahead and erase it and draw it bigger before you start to glue, okay? So when you start working on your actual final, you want to work from the very top towards the bottom. If I if my nose had been glued already and I'm trying to do my eyes, you can see that my hand is right over that wet glue. And if you smudge it, there's nothing we can do to fix it. You just are going to have a smudge on your final. So ideally you want to start way up here at the top, again touch the paper squeeze nice and gently and just follow that. I'm going to stop at my ear and I'm going to go back to the top and now I'll start following my hair. And when you are finished, please, please make sure that you twist that cap all the way closed. Okay, that'll keep it from getting clogged. When you are all finished with your black glue, bring it to the drying rack, but make sure you hold it as flat as you possibly can. If you tip it, that glue is still wet and it can drip. So you just two hands all the way over and put it on the drying rack.